Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy One Gun here, and uh, today I just want to talk about uh, Joe in this latest video and tell you why you should not come to this man's channel and watch any farce that he puts on here. One of the things that Joe likes to do is, is like when no one's watching his True Bones channel, like the one he just made, uh, when he, uh, when he is a uh, angry I guess he's still angry because of the loss of his channel and, 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 and his deletion of his Facebook and Sketchfab page um, he comes here and uh, he's probably really angry because nothing is really nobody's really looking at his channel um, the the highest thing on his channel that someone's looked at is gained like about 60 views you know out of all those hundreds of videos he's putting up uh, Joe wants to get what he had before which is not going to happen again um, is basically a uh, channel where he can just sit back and sell stuff on. Now he's starting to put the, the gum roll links and stuff back up there again, but that's okay. I'll just report it into YouTube again and they'll just take his channel away. Um but that's that's cool. Um so so he's uh he made a video today, of course, on his 3D hypocrites channel. And uh he, um he came here uh he's he, I don't know, he said something that made no total sense down here but the whole thing about it is is that he makes you listen to his shitty music for 15 minutes until he actually talks the last couple of minutes and I was like he's only doing this to get views uh, so from now on people I wouldn't come to his channel and watch any video that he makes because he's just trying to milk you for for views you know and then at the end of the video he goes well I'm gonna go to my other channel and there's nothing on this other channel worth even watching um, he's still trying to pump his uh, his fake affiliates program and uh, a whole bunch of other shit. And I'm going to talk about it. He's going to do another video, and the video is going to basically be, here's my affiliates program spreadsheet. Now, we don't know where this spreadsheet comes from. We don't even know if the spreadsheet that he's showing is actually his or something he's made. He don't. He doesn't disclose the company that does this, and he doesn't disclose a program. He doesn't do nothing but just shows us a sheet that comes magically out of air. My whole thing about it is, um, this guy's not honest. Um, he's not honest about the fake business he owns. He's not honest about who he blames this week as of why he can't be a thief. I mean, he actually tries to make an argument about why he can't be a thief. You know, I've never seen nothing like this before. I mean, he he's, he's a 50-year-old man with an argument saying, why come I can't legally steal from people? And that's basically what he's talking about in this video. Is basically why come he can't steal? Why come one gun is doing this? One gun hasn't done nothing to him that he hasn't done to himself. See, Joe took it upon himself to go to Rubu, steal the stuff, and take it to his Gumroad channel. And then, then uh, if somebody goes to Rubu and tries to use the stuff from Rubu, Joe goes out and put false copyright claims on him. I've seen it happen to other people. I know I've seen him do it to other people. Somebody takes something from Rubu and they're using their video. Joe chases after him, try to take it down. Even though Joe got his content from Rubu, that's what he does. So Joe's trying to say, if Rubu can have a channel where he can have all this stuff to share, why come he can't have a business model and channel where he can like take stuff from Rubu and post it up on his uh, on his uh, pirated website and and sell it? And this is why Joe. The, the word sell you're selling the stuff Joe you don't own the stuff you never made the stuff and you're selling it see that's the difference between you and Rubu because you're trying to say what's my big secret well I'm not going to I'm not going to guys because they're not trying to make money off of what they're doing what they're doing is actually sharing now I don't approve of what they're sharing and they really won't get in trouble for it but Joe when you cross the line over over the copyright thing of, of taking people's stuff and then and put and then putting false copyright claims on people's stuff. That's when you've crossed the line. Rubu has never put a copyright claim, even though I don't use nothing from Rubu. But Rubu's never put a copyright claim on any of my content. 
Rubles never put a copyright claim on nobody's content because the stuff that comes off his channel. Ruble understands that the stuff he puts on his channel ain't his. And he puts a disclaimer up saying the stuff ain't mine and don't use it for commercial use. I mean, use it to learn. Use it to do stuff with it. Make, be creative with it. It's art. And that's the whole underlining word, Joe. Something you don't do is art. You haven't done nothing, Joe, but that's, that's worth being called art. And that's because you're not an artist. You're just a professional crook who is just jealous when he sees somebody doing something that he obviously can't do. That you can go around bragging and telling people that you do do. I talked to the guy um, whose videos you have just stolen off his, off his, off his channel. And that nightlight guy, I talked to him. I sent him a message. And I asked him, why are you letting Joe steal your work? And he's like, you sent him a letter, a permission, asked him for permission to, to get a video, Joe. A video. You wind up going to the guy's whole channel and just taking everything off the guy's YouTube. Everything that's on that guy's YouTube channel, Joe has stolen it and put it up on his True Bones channel for content. Joe's trying to get views off of this other guy's stuff so Joe's channel can go up in ranking. But if you look up, uh, if you look up True Bones right, let me show you where True Bones is right now. If you look them up right now, this is where True Bones is. You see free True Bones motions, and right under that, exposed. It's close with True Bones steals from Epic Games again docu series, and that's a couple and a couple other videos I've made about Joe and his thievery. So if this is contributing to the 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 the. If this is contributing, if my videos are contributing to you not making money off of stuff and then harassing people because they got the stuff from the same place you got your stuff from and you're sending copyright takedown notices on these people, Joe. If my videos are deterrent from people to going to your channel, well, that's good. That's something we all need. We need some type of deterrent because you have not a lack of sense or respect for anybody or anything you do. How can you sit up and say you're proud to be who you are, this big, great, big mocap guy, when you don't do mocap, Joe? I've busted that a long time ago. Everybody knows now. Everybody knows your secret now. But you still pretend. You still pretend you're an artist. And you're not. You're not, Joe. I've gotten awards for my art. I got to sit standing up on my wall. I've been to school for art. I've been to school for animation. You know? I've I've done everything. I've got I still got some of my stuff when I was in school that has actually went to freaking uh um art shows and art auctions and stuff. I have that type of ability, Joe, to make money off my art. You're making money not off of art, Joe. You're making money because you're a greedy, stingy a hole. You steal stuff. That's what you do. And then you try to make some argument about uh, uh, why come I'm not going over there to uh, Sketchfab and doing this. It's because those people aren't doing what you do, Joe. These people aren't actively tracking down people and harassing them and putting up their personal information and doxing them. You're the only person that's ever done that to me, Joe. You're the only person that, that has not a lick of respect or anything for anybody. So you can make all these videos you want to, but this is where we're at now. You know, this is this is where you're at. I'm doing other things, yo. I'm going on with my life, and 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 then every once in a while, somebody say, "Hey, guess what Joe said?" I'm like, I don't really care. But in this case, maybe I should make my case. To everybody is that I should not care because I achieved what I set out to do two years ago because. Joe made it a point as of a year ago to the date to come after me and my channel, made my channel lose my attention. He did a lot of stuff to me, and I told Joe I'm going to get him back. I said, Joe, I'm going to make sure that everybody on the Internet knows who you are and knows what you do. And Joe didn't believe me. So Joe went from the, the, the winter of the, the fall, winter, whatever, of 2017 and aggravated the hell out of me from 2017, 2018, all the way up to the point that his channel was gone. He was perma banned from Sketchfab. He's been kicked from Facebook. And I'm working on other places where Joe won't be able to go. 
Why come Joe can't be able to go to these places? Because Joe don't deserve to be in places where people are at. That's why. Joe doesn't know how to condone him, conduct himself like a proper adult. He's 50 years old, and he goes around like a 12-year-old pulling pranks. The problem with this man is he doesn't understand reality, and he doesn't understand uh, the truth because he runs from the truth to create a whole reality that's based on him feeling good to make him believe that what he's doing is not wrong. And you can listen to the next video he's going to make within the next 24 hours about how wrong everyone else is about him stealing shit and selling it on his two pirated sites. Listen to what he says. And most people do listen, and they just come to me like, this dude is crazy. Of course he is. You know, of course something is wrong with him. Because he doesn't understand right from wrong. Or true right from true wrong. The only true right and true wrong Joe knows is the true bones right from wrong. Which is to steal everything. You see, now Joe's been doing this stuff for a long time. You know, back in the days when I started off doing work, playing around in Das and Poser and stuff like that. True bones was there. Everybody like was buying stuff from True Bones. But then, I don't know what happened to Joe. Because now I understand that Joe's been stealing stuff for years. And people were starting... And, and I really didn't know about Joe until, I uh, say, 20... I guess it was September. Uh, I think it was September of 20... I don't know if it was 2016. That's September 2016. But said September 2016 when I had a uh, Facebook page, and it was called the Icon Movie Makers Guild. I invited Joe in. And when I did that, everybody's like, "Why the hell you invite him in here? He ain't nothing but a con." I mean, everybody was telling me stuff. I was like, "Oh no, no, not Joe. He's a cool guy. I've known him. For, I mean, I never, I don't know him, but I've known of him. And so far, I didn't know anything bad about him. But that was just me not trying to find out who he was. So." After I found out, you know, it wasn't until Joe was in there for like two months and I actually started to kind of find out who this guy was. Uh, when I start seeing like posts like Beware of True Bones, True Bones stole it again and, and a whole bunch of stuff. So I just started following the breadcrumbs, which led to the bigger you know, loaf of bread and which was basically told me like, oh, crap, this guy's a crook. <laughs> He's a straight up crook. And what proved he was a crook is, is that I got some motions from him. And then I found out all this time I was buying stuff from him, the stuff was stolen from other places. And I confronted Joe about it on Mixamo. And that's when shit got bad. That's how shit got bad. Joe came after me, made videos about me, you know. And the whole, the whole thing about it is every word that came out of his mouth about anything was just lies just lie after lie after lie after lie after lie after lie and it got so bad he went after my father and he started finding he, he started doing intelligence reports on me telling people where to go and find false information on me and stuff like that stuff that I didn't even know existed until Joe found it and uh, and read it off and told people I was something that I'm not and Joe just stuck. Joe still sticks with that thing today. I mean, it made me mad a long time ago. But something told me a long time ago to take that anger and focus it not back on the person, but what that person is doing. What hurt a bad person is to stop his wrongdoing. What would stop a bad person in his tracks? What was stop a bad person in his tracks is to show everybody who the bad person is. So, I started a campaign to show everybody who Joe was. To show everybody you can't trust this guy. To show everybody he he went into a developer's website with stolen content from other games and sold it to people. And then did not give nobody a proper refund. I will say it again. He stole stuff, took it to developer sites, not just one developer site. Not just two, but three different developer sites. And sold the stuff. And then claimed 
the stuff was his and it comes from his motion capture studio when it didn't. It came from this guy named Rubu. Joe and Rubu have been working together for a long time. Long time. Long time as I didn't know how long a time these guys have been working together. But these guys have been together like butter and rice for as long as I for as long as I can go back and find any issue with it. So he calls himself an artist, being an artist, and he's not. He's a grown child. He's a grown child doing refrigerator art, as far as I can tell. That's all he is. So he keeps making these videos. He, I mean, he keeps making these videos. I mean, really, all the videos I made, besides this one, this is like the only video I have really made about Joe uh, that I took my time and edited out and all that other stuff and put it out there. This is the only video I've made. All the rest of the videos I put up are videos I've made about Joe. And I, what I do is I go back and I re-edit them and I put them back up. And uh, and what's old is new. And I have a whole channel. I got over 300 videos of uh, videos that a lot of people have seen that are on my old channel. Now, why am I bringing videos from one channel to another? Well, this is why. Joe wants to take away my channels by going into the metadata and other stuff that my that my videos are set on. Now, my other channel has so much stuff on it. It'll probably take me weeks to go through every video, edit it out, do all stuff. So what I do is I go and I release a video. After that video is released, Joe watches it too, and then I get a privacy complaint or some type of complaint from YouTube. YouTube, I take it down and I go back and edit it, everything out and then I put it back up. And when I do, it's heavily monetized. So if Joe was just stop messing with my other channel over there, those videos nobody's never seen won't wind up to on a channel where everybody will see them. You know, if I have to edit a video and bring it over to my other channel, I will because I want my money for the time I spent to uh, edit the video out. So if Joe wants to play this game with my other channel over there and keep on waiting for me to pop a video over there and then put privacy in place, I mean, that's fine. I'll take the video down, I'll put it up on my other channel, and then I'll heavily monetize it, and people will even see. And even I, I, some of the videos I, I even update. You know, I update the videos because, well, you know, why not? I mean, I've I've done it, and it works so far. It brings my channel money. And uh, if I would have known a long time ago, I would have been doing this stuff a long time ago. My other channel, once all the videos, of, uh, I mean, I, I got I got something like. 200 and I think 200 and some odd videos left to go back and edit and look at and, and re-up over on this channel you know I got a lot of stuff I don't really have to make any more videos no no edited videos about Joe anymore because they're just sitting over on the channel ready to be bought over here but I have to do a little editing to it but that's okay I mean I get, I get monetized I get money I get monetized money for it you know if anybody look at any video got about Joe I heavily monetize them because I feel that if I have to make these videos about him, I feel like I should get paid for, especially the ones that he wants to take down. But the whole thing is, is, is Joe is not honest, and Joe, because of Joe is such a greedy, dishonor, honor, <laughs> greedy, dishonest bastard, he wants to hide the fact that somebody is posting videos about him and his scams. Just him and his scams, and I got more videos that are coming up. Matter of fact, it's me and a couple other people who are making videos about Joe right now. Cause everybody know there's money in making money off of Joe and his misdoings. Everybody knows that now. Everybody know, hey, I can money, I can make a Joe about um, a video about Joe, and post it up, monetize it, and make some money. You know, that's that's how it is. That's how it is now, Joe. It's all because you would you not you're not you don't want to stop this one man war. This <laughs> this one man war that you, you every time you say or do anything about me, Joe, it only hurts your reputation. That's the only person you're hurting, Joe, because you lie about everything you say about me. I don't have to lie about you, Joe. I just have to go and just type your name into Google and find out what's what, what you've done. That's all I gotta do. You know, and I do crawl. I mean, I crawl around the web looking for where you've been, what you've done. I even found some new stuff about you in a couple court cases. That you tried to go, <laughs> he tried to go after somebody for defamation and wind up losing. Not just once, not just twice, but three times. His cat Joe is taking people to court and the case get thrown out. Because what happens is Joe goes to court and then the judge has to rule in other people's uh, 
basically has to has the rule for the opposing party because Joe is such a, a, a prolific liar that he messes his own self up. That's what someone has found out for me, and I'm like, cool, you know. I can't wait to finish writing up my uh, writing, you know, going through. The, I got I'm, I'm reading the court cases right now, and it's just incredible what this guy has tried to do in the past because he's crazy. When you read through these court, these court, these public documents, these public court cases, and you listen to what he has said, the man's crazy. He makes up his own reality and he lives in it. I didn't know how grotesquely um, sick this man was until I started reading some of this literature on him, and I'm like, this dude, something's wrong with him. Nobody acts like this. Nobody. And I was thinking that he's just being dishonest because he's just a crooked bastard. And the thing about it, he's not. He, this guy actually suffers from a, of a, of a real of a real life issue. I'm not a doctor. But this is an issue. For him to take things as far as he's taking them. You know, for him to sit back and create false realities that he live in. And then he makes videos to prove his... Joe believes that if he makes these videos that proves his point about him lying I don't know anybody who would make videos or infomercials about stuff they've stolen and then make videos about how he took down someone else's stuff because he thinks it belongs to him but he knows it doesn't belong to him it never belonged to him just like the whole thing with Adobe I had to write Adobe a letter saying, listen, this guy is telling me that he owns this stuff and he keeps taking down my video. And I was under impression anything I, I download off of your website is mine to use in my projects. As long as I don't sell the stuff to a third party. Well, this guy has your stuff. And not only does he have your stuff, he has it on his website and he's selling to third parties. And he's coming to me and taking my video down saying that he owns them but every time I put in a a uh, a count notification he never shows up with any court documents saying that he went to court and proved it so I'm tired of my content being taken down and if you all don't fix this well then I'm gonna have to take you all to court because of what he's doing and I haven't and, and because of that I haven't got any takedown notices from Joe in a long time after I sent that email in to abuse at adobe.com I told them flat out I was like listen I have a lawyer they see the situation I see the situation what it is but this moron doesn't and I'm going to hold you guys liable for what he's doing to me so I'm going to come after you guys I haven't had a problem with any, I haven't had no takedown notices in a while from Joe my lawyer sent Adobe a letter and that took care of that and if Joe's doing this to you, get you a lawyer to write a letter to them. Let Adobe and they billions and billions of dollars know that I'm not going to take this no more and I'm going to take some of that money from y'all. You see, the thing in the way, the best way to deal with a fool is find out what the fool is using for fuel. I dealt with that fool the best way I knew how because, you know, YouTube ain't going to do anything about him. Unless he really fucks up and he and, and we got him, you know, I finally got him with this video. He can lie and say that I didn't do nothing, but I I got him with that video. I mean, I, I this video doomed his channel. Finally, I finally came up with a plan to doom his channel, and I got another plan to doom his next channel because he's still doing the same thing, but he's doing it differently this time because he's not putting the the videos about me on his new channel. He's going to his other channel. And putting up the garbage there, but that's okay. Nobody's why really watching that channel but him and maybe family members and a couple and maybe all of his alts or whatever. But the whole thing about it is, is that this whole war between Joe and me has hurt Joe more than it has hurt me, to be honest with you. Um, I still have my channel I broadcast on. You know, I just got my broadcasting from this. And before Joe lost his channel, I took his broadcasting away from him the same way he did it to me. You know, he went to my channel and said, hey, I got some nudity on it. And they took my broadcasting away. And I, then I went over to them and said the same thing about Joe. Said, hey, wait a minute. 
this guy over here, he's showing full sexual acts of, this, of, a, of a skeleton dragging a woman around like a dog on his YouTube channel. And you mean to tell me y'all gonna take me y'all gonna take my stuff away because I got a chick dancing topless and this guy has a full sexual act? I said, well, and then he doesn't have it on there once, not twice, not three times, but he has four different videos of nudity, sex, and sexual uh, and sexual humiliation. And and and, and these videos have been up long, uh, a long time. And YouTube just overlooked that. I was like, no, you taking that down. I sent the letter. I said, uh, I told my lawyer, hey, you gotta send them a letter, letting them know what's going on. And Joe's video wasn't a Joe wasn't able to broadcast the video for a while. Matter of fact, Joe never got a chance to broadcast because his channel was gone. So Joe, well, the, the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead in this video. It's 30 minutes long. The whole thing about it is, people, is that I'm going on. And I got stuff I gotta do. Matter of fact, one thing I gotta do is I gotta do maintenance on my computer. So I figure I do this before I have to do anything else. But the other thing about it is, is that um, Joe has lost, and he wants to lie to you and say that I've done all this bad stuff to him. But Joe has to look at what really happened. This is what really happened, Joe. You did everything to yourself. When you started coming after me and, and messing with my channels and I couldn't broadcast on my channel, then you made videos about me, uh, about you stealing my Archive Infinity and, and then then <laughs> going over to Real Illusion and lying about saying that I stole your stuff and, and I should be, I, uh, my money should be taken away. When you started doing the 12-year-old shit, Joe, I had to be an adult. Keep, my, keep quiet and mislead you on a lot of stuff. And go behind the scenes and, and to, to, to take that shitty channel of yours down. That's what I had to do. And it, it worked. It worked perfectly. It worked It worked better than I thought it would. I just had to get you to a point to where you couldn't help yourself. And you get to that point again, Joe. You might, you might want to lose another channel. Now, I know you went after my other channels and I know how you was taking them down. But you can't do it no more. So that that card you had is, is is gone now, and my lawyer's on standby. He's ready for you to come and take down another video of mine. He's waiting for you. He's waiting. Adobe's waiting. Everybody's waiting for you to claim another video on my channel and say it's it's yours. Well, I took something and used. I'm we're just waiting for it. You need to worry about yourself, Joe. You need to go back to that new shitty channel you made. You need to hang out on that channel and just leave me alone. Leave Sally alone, because she has nothing to do with this. Leave Hassan alone. You need to leave Ben alone. You need to leave all these people alone, Joe, because, Joe, I know what you've been doing to these people. I know how you've been trying to contact. I know, Joe, because they, they, these, these folks tell me. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. That little pat story to tells us all of how somebody rejected you and you went out and you start harassing the people in the freaking shopping mall or wherever the place that was. It's just exactly what happened. You started harassing me. I blew you off. Then you started harassing people around me. Real Illusion, Peter, all them people. Because you were trying to get at me. You were trying to get at me through them. And all that does just hurt you even more. I'm sorry you feel hurt or misled or whatever. I'm sorry about that, Joe, but you did it to yourself. You can do whatever you want, Joe, but just leave me alone. Go the opposite direction. You lost and just live with the fact that you lost. Me, I've been producing stuff. I've been making stuff. I've been having a good time. I ain't been, I've been online because uh, I have no time. I got a lot of stuff to do. But the whole fact of the matter is, you know, every once in a while, you make a video which has me thinking, like, what's he thinking? So every once in a while, I have to come back and say something to you from the bottom of my heart, which is, which is just grow up. Be a man. Take your loss. You can't rewrite history, even though you did try to delete everything about you. <laughs> And you saw that the one place, you know, the one place that proves that you, that both, that uh, both your accounts were taken down because you were selling soul and shit was from Sketchfab. I still got the video of that. You tried to take that video down. I still got that. I re-edited. I had to re-edit it. 
but it still has a hundred percent. I've got ninety five percent. I say ninety eight percent accurate of why your channel came down. It's because of that video. That video that Parabolics made, Parabolic Labs made, few few uh, year or so and a half ago, is what added to the slow downfall of what you would call a business and what people will now know you as a crook. That's all to it, dude. And then, I mean, I finally made a video that was equal to that of Parabolic Labs with the Fortnite stuff. This video. This video, which is 185 views long, and when you type in, anybody types in True Bones, will see your name, will forever see your name, your, your, your little shitty channel, and then they're going to see the video about your old shitty channel. That's 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 point blank to the point, Joe. Do something with your life. Do something with it. Waking up every morning and being angry because you've lost something and trying to regain something that you've lost and will never get back is not a way to go through life. Stop bothering people that I know. People talk to me for a reason. They enjoy to talk to me. If they're not talking to you, well then that's your problem. It's because you've probably done something to them. Or they know about you and they don't want to be attacked by you. You know, the same way you attack Diamond. You know you know who Diamond is. Yeah, you know. She the one who got you locked up. Up in Bloomfield. Because you wouldn't leave her alone. And when she rejected you, you went after the people that were around her. And it's the same thing, dude. The same thing. I don't know who, where you grew up, how high you grew up. I don't know if you was rich or you was poor. But no no, per, no normal person acts like you, dude. No, I've never met nobody who acts like you. A proud crook. Slander troll. Whatever you want to call it. But this is one gun, everybody. I'm done. And uh, I'll be back. I'll be back after I do some, some maintenance on my computer. So, see you guys later. And I will be back uh, with some more stuff on Character Creator. Later. What the hell is this? Post this. Let me turn this off.